Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott and today you're watching animation number 12 which was interested and I chose to do a character that is uninterested so I've sort of turned it on its head a bit there uh, but um, I found interested a bit boring to do and uninterested was a bit more sort of animated uh, so the character ended up being uh, a bit more lively than it would be if it was just interested. Um, when I was thinking about this category I don't know why I chose it and I think it was a bad choice really because there's not a lot of animation to be done so hopefully you can come up with something interesting uh, but don't worry if you uh, veer off the subject slightly uh, because it's supposed to be a learning process so uh, see what you can do with it and also uh, don't worry too much if uh, well, I did. just just learn what you can. I think that's the thing. <laughs> it's all about learning. Anyway, so um, it went quite well. It started off really badly, this, and it was really frustrating. Um, but I was pleased with how it turned out. I think that's a sign that, again, I'm getting better. And I've noticed that lots of people's animations, uh, which I've included at the end, are getting better as well. So that's nice to see. So I think as a community, we're getting better and we're growing. Lovely stuff. Uh, so you can see that I'm sort of blocking out uh, and this is an interesting one really. They say block out and then uh, do your curves and all that sort of thing, get your timing. Uh, but I'm sort of being a bit more fluid. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm just kind of going with it, what I feel like now. Uh, so um, yes, I am blocking out, uh, but occasionally uh, I sort of seem to block out with quite long distances between the poses. And other times I think, oh, I need a bit more detail to know how to move to the next pose and to make it make sense. So occasionally I go um, into a tiny bit of detail um, to start off with. Um, so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So you can see that I've got a set of keyframes and I'm, I'm and occasionally I'm going into the curves even to sort of figure things out. This head movement here was really quite tough. Um, and that's where I thought I need to know exactly that movement. And I actually deleted some of my blocking out. So, so I sort of moved up like this down like this and that movement there is quicker and I was really struggling with it uh, it's strange just simple movements like that can really throw you uh, and it's these uh, quaternion or quaternion uh, rotation things uh, which I find very tough to get to grips with but what I have found is to trust your curves uh, I think that's the key I think anyway <laughs> so um, I went in and tried to sort of uh, well, first of all, I sort of keyframed three stages of it, so up, down, and there was sort of a fourth stage. I wanted a sort of head drop to be quite quick there. And then I went into the curves and made sure they were all nice and smooth. And when I smoothed up every single one of the four um, channels, uh, it looked much smoother. So there was, so if your rotations and things are off kilter, go into your curves and see if they're nice and smooth. If they're not smooth, then that's why they're sort of juddering. Sometimes you want judder uh, or that sort of shake or something like that, so that's fine. But if you want smooth movement, then your curves should be nice and smooth. And occasionally you have one of those Bezier, Bezier handles, or whatever they're called, and they're this just sort of rotated weirdly, and you need to line them up. That's my tip for the day, anyway. <laughs> it didn't take me too long. Um, I've been a touch ill. Uh, unfortunately, I've got some sort of virus, uh, so I didn't want to spend too long because uh, I didn't want to get too tired. Poor me. <laughs> but also, uh, when when you're tired, you're you're just not uh, and a bit ill. You're not thinking cleanly do you know what I mean uh, and <laughs> you can probably tell by the way I'm talking at the moment I'm still a tiny bit up <laughs> so uh, I'm probably not making a lot of sense but uh, I, I thought just an easy task and what I really wanted to do was concentrate on the facial animation and the movement keeping it simple but making it look good rather than uh, where, where I've had sort of slight disasters in the past where I've tried to fit too much in and it all ends up looking very uh, rough like the dance that I did. I wasn't pleased with the dance because there was too much to it. Whereas the superhero pose where he sort of crouches down and flies, uh, that all looked quite nice. And I think this this one works. Um, it's not, you know, it's not Disney or Pixar or whatever, uh, but uh, it's, um, it's, I'm pleased with it and I feel like it's fluid. You know, it's got that fluency, uh, which is nice. Uh, and that's, that's what I was really focusing on and wanting to get hold of in this particular adventure. <laughs> um, so I'm just seeing how far I am through. Yeah, um, like I say, it didn't take too long. This was about an hour and 45 minutes and the hour and three quarters uh, in terms of uh, raw footage. And like I say, that's always uh, seems quite short, but actually it, 
it's that was a whole morning for me because there was lots of breaks and I was like I say a bit tired uh, and uh, I wanted to look up a few things I wasn't quite positive about shape keys I did the hair as well and that was quite fun um, uh, which I'll talk about in a second I'll talk about the the facial expressions first um, and that's just uh, rigged and boned uh, boned <laughs> rigged uh, so um, I did all the body movement first and then went into the detailed facial expressions and that seems to be working for me and I'm quite comfortable with that now um, uh, the rig I don't know uh, some rigs are a bit limited in their movement and they do that on purpose because they don't want to deform in certain ways I don't know whether I like this rig uh, but then I'm not one to criticize because I'm not very good at rigging uh, so uh, but I feel like it doesn't, uh, it doesn't move in the way I quite want it to, but I like the look of the rig and I like the character style, so um, I, I sort of stuck with it. Um, and it, it, I'm not saying it's a bad rig, but it's just sometimes you want to move a bit further uh, and uh, they don't want to, <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. So here's the, the hair, and I did some shape keys for this, so I did uh, downwards, so leaning forwards and the hair coming down, uh, the sort of basic one and left and right so it leaned to the uh, right and to the left uh, and that was enough it, it worked and it just gave that sort of head a bit of um, the hair a bit of motion and gave the character more character and life uh, so I'm quite pleased with that uh, because I haven't used shape keys much uh, I, they always seem to be a bit glitchy for me uh, I think again it's it it's one of those things where it's user error and you feel like uh, you thought you knew what you were doing and then you realize there's some sort of quirky uh, things that you've got to try and understand and get to grips with and uh, when you're trying to do a project like this it's good to try new things and that's the whole point of this challenge hence why last week it was grease pencil which was tricky this week it was uh, shape keys and previously when I've used shape keys it's only in sculpt mode I've never gone into edit mode and I was thinking can you actually do that of course you can I just uh, thought I'd double check and look it up, uh, but yes, you can do them in edit mode as well. Uh, but I, from, coming from a sculpting background, it was all sort of uh, sculpting shape keys for me. Uh, so I was quite pleased it worked out and it was fairly straightforward to be honest. Lots of tutorials online for that as well, using shape keys and things. And you can see I'm just sort of tidying it up here, uh, keying the shape keys. And they're nice and easy actually, it's a nice easy thing to do uh, and it's enjoyable because you get a lot of sort of action from it. Uh, and now I'm just sort of doing the, the rendering. <laughs> uh, the layers and the collections uh, are quite weird and awkward. Sometimes I add things and I don't realize that they're in a hidden collection and they've recently changed that in Blender 2.8. So uh, you've only got the eye there, not the render and the selection option in your outliner, which I think is, I don't like that move personally. Uh, I might even comment on that to them, but uh, I think they're doing a great job, so I shouldn't, <laughs> shouldn't criticize at all. Anyway, here we go. Uh, there we go for uninterested, uh, this one. So a bit of a sigh, a bit of a bob there. Here's some of your animations. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, there's uh, some really great work. There's lots of um, sort of people catching up. So I've, I've included bits and pieces from previous ones, but the last one should have been uh, Superhero, and that's one I'm focused on, but I have put in a few extra ones. Well done to Mohamed Abdullah there. Um, quite a complex animation, and you really are getting better. Uh, well done. Nice to see. Uh, this is a lovely one. Ah, trying to remember who it was now. Uh, but I was asking them about how they span and managed to get a loop in it as well. Uh, um, but they just sort of lined it up by eye, apparently. Uh, nice work, though. Really great stuff. Nice superhero one there as well. I like that sort of going off screen and not following the character with the camera, but keeping the camera still. Good idea. And this is the um, the uh, fox coyote or whatever it is. Uh, learning to fly, I think was the idea behind that. Uh, this one, a render adept. And this is their son, I think, in the corner <laughs> doing some dance moves. And he was copying them. Uh, nice idea that. That's uh, nice to get your family involved with your blendering. <laughs> a nice one there as well. And uh, Andrei Kozrienko always looks nice, fluid and smooth. Uh, there's uh, Farrah Porter with her dog. Uh, and uh, I like the little bark at the end. That's good. And this one, lots of work going into this again from Mark Herman uh, with the flight and everything and all the background. Uh, nice smooth jump animation. Interesting lighting there. Uh, it's, oh, this one uh, from Kevin. Uh, it's I think it is from what is it? Infinity War stuff. 
I think it is, isn't it? Iron Man saves someone. I'm pretty sure that's where it's from, but it's a nice reference. I like it. Uh, that was a lovely one as well. Um, I love that style. It's really great. Uh, another great one here. I'm forgetting the names. It's annoying because when I see them on screen, I think, oh, that's that person, that's that person. And you recognise their styles as well after a while. Uh, and this one as well. <laughs> and the characters that they're using. Uh, some fantastic work. Really well done. And there's my one again, uh, uninterested. So see what you can do with it this time. Uh, hopefully you're still learning, enjoying, and uh, don't uh, overdo it. Uh, do what you can, but uh, try and keep going with the challenge. It's, it should be little and often uh, the key for success, you know, pr successful practice, little and often. Uh, so uh, keep that in mind. Anyway, uh, happy animating, and I will see you next time.